Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2, and this episode we're doing post-commentary, because I really yeah. freaking hate to this, suck. The, this section. That's pretty much all you need to know. Um, it sucks. As you can see, I'm getting uh, some last preparations done, equipping Donald's uh, limit attack, Fantasia, which does Comet. And, and now we enter cutscene hell. Yeah, we're we're gonna enter cutscene cutscene hell. It's it's full of cutscenes. Uh, as you can see, Hollow Bastion is being swarmed by the knight and the floating heartless. They are everywhere. That's that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. And they're fighting nobodies. Hear me, my heartless. Attack the white husks. Sweep them away. What are you, nuts? We're never gonna win. I don't know about you, but I'm out of here, sister. You pathetic coward. Leave the White Ones! Turn your attention to Sora and his friends! Uh -oh. And now it's the enemy of my enemy is my friend sort of thing, so now everyone's just against us, even though you'd think the nobodies would still kind of be pissed at the Heartless for, you know, attacking them. I'd also but really like to know where we could get a hold of those... those outfits that the nobodies are wearing because of their they've got those cool little light strips that yeah they've, they've got led clothes it's weird and as you but can see no. i'm using comet all the time because why not uh it's kind of helpful in the next fight in some ways kind of not helpful there's a couple of strategies for it i'll talk more about that when we get into it well, but it's not the next fight. Technically, well, it's the one yeah. after that, but... Because there's lots of fights between now and then. Yep. Not really. Just one. There's one fight for us, and then lots of cutscene fights. Yes. Uh -huh. Where's Maleficent? Looks like she ran away. Well, that was pretty lame of her. I guess we picked the wrong side. Oh my god, I hate these things. <laughs> With a passion. You right. And it just, it keeps getting worse. And this scene drags on way too long. I mean, it's it's showing Sora and Donald and Goofy's discontent for these guys, and impatience. Um, hey, if you're looking to pick sides, why don't you pick Leon's? They can always use help. Does this Leon have any treasure? Yeah, lots of stuff. Perfect! Come on. Who are you? Oh, we're nothing worth mentioning. Just three treasure fanatics. Later, taters! Also, when did they get so obsessed with treasure? I don't remember that being did a thing. Did Leon really have any treasure? <laughs> no, but Donald just threw him under the bus. Uh, I don't know, and I kind of want to think, Hey, Yuna, your boyfriend is the guy that I used to spar with on Destiny Islands. <laughs> You know, that memory? Yeah. Of yours, that, that figment of your imagination? Because, you know. We don't have time for you. I wish I could kill nobodies in one hit while we were in combat. That's. That would be nice. <sighs> ah, good god damn it. Sephiroth. Ain't Sephiroth the one who's supposed to be the dark part of Cloud's heart? <laughs> Did Cloud tell you that? Then he must understand now. Just what are you gonna do to him? Nothing. Cloud is the one who hungers for darkness. You said he's got a score to settle with you. I see. He wants to meet me again.
then I should give him what he wants. That last bit of light is always the hardest to snuff out. That's not, you know, dark, ominous. Nah. So yeah, Sephiroth's back, and I'm not entirely sure why we don't know him, because, you know, we beat him in the last game. But, you know, apparently we didn't remember that. Alright, so, as you can see, I also have the Hero's Crest equipped, and I'm gonna switch out my potions for high potions. Because, yeah, that's how paranoid I am about this next fight. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's been a pretty rough one. We've only done it, like, three times now. I've, I've did it four, because <laughs> I did the, the test beforehand. Fabulous. Uh, it was just, hey, let's, let's dick you over as much as possible. This fight, it, it does do that, but we still have one more fight to get into before that, so... So, a little bit of fun trivia for you. What? Sephiroth's voice mm -hmm. is the same guy who did, um... We'll help! Oh, voice in Justice League the cartoon. Sora, behind you! Alright, so we saw this new, new new nobody in the last fight, but didn't really talk about it. It's a, it's a dancer, because the nobodies take on job classes from classic Final Fantasy games. So you have, like, Samurai, Dragoon, uh, Dancer. And here I show off Master Form, because it's actually really fun for these guys, because this little tornado attack will suck people into it, and then just rip them apart. And that's why I hate the dancers, because they can grab you and throw you, and you really can't defend against it all that well. It's But I like I like doing that. Just draw people in and kill them. Sadly, I doesn't kill all these guys, but it does do a world of hurt on them. So I at least get to show that off, and we showed off Comet, which we'll see again. Um when I'm not being thrown around by freaking nobodies. I really hate that attack. And that's a pretty good finisher on it, you know. Explosion. Kinda cool. The king's in the Bailey. You better head over there. Got it. So a little bit more fun, because I kept hearing the voice and thinking it sounded familiar. Riku mm -hmm. of the girls was Bubbles on the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> now you, you can't unhear that, can no. you? <laughs> I heard it, I was like, that sounds really familiar. Why does that voice sound so familiar? <laughs> Whoa. And across the Bailey, we get to see the incoming flood of Heartless. And by flood, I mean flood. There's... There's a lot of them. And we get to see how the residents of Hollow Bastion get to deal with fighting all of these Heartless. Because, you know, they're, everyone's sitting here fighting. Except for us, apparently. We're sitting here watching this, because Sora's just kind of looking off in the distance. So we got Yuffie being useless. And we've got Eris being more useful, but that cure probably would have been better served for, you know, like, Cloud or Leon or somebody, someone, someone who's not Yuffie. Anyone who wasn't Yuffie. We got Stitch, who's got lasers, and we still haven't shown off his summon, but he's got lasers, so I mean... Stitch is awesome. Yeah. We've got these three things, which I'm just now going to start referring to as the Powerpuff Girls. You're welcome. And they beat one by knocking it off a cliff, and, and then, then they get chased, they by, get a chased by a horde of them. Also, why are they chasing them but weren't attacking Riku and Aerith? Like, hmm, no. Think you can handle this many? Well, it might be tough if one more shows up. Hmm. Then that'll have to be the one I take care of. What? You're fighting too? <laughs> and cue the inspiration for Final Fantasy Dissidia. <laughs> 
right there. Yeah. Sephiroth! I understand that you've been looking for me. Yeah. Once I get rid of you, the darkness will go away. Can you do it? That darkness comes from your own dark memories. Do you think you can erase your past? Shut up! Face it. You turn your back on the present and live in the past. Because the light of the present is too much. You don't know me! Cloud! <laughs> I know. Because... I am you. Get that pointy thing out of my face. Cloud! Wait! Huh? Girl who actually kicks some ass. Yeah, Tiffa, Tiffa kicks a lot of ass. <laughs> Like, that—that that is her middle name, Tiffa Asskick Lockhart. <laughs> Leon, everybody, hang in there. Because you know, instead of just you know going to help, we were standing there. Gawking. Like I said, cutscene hell. Yeah. Okay, fellas, you've got to go find Riku and Kairi. But Leon and the others are friends too. Don't worry, there's already lots of help here. We'll take care of this fight. But... I promised Leon. Donald, Goofy, take Sora and get going! Riku, Kairi, give me a little time, okay? We understand. We'll go search for Riku and Kairi. Right. Watch for danger. You'll be careful, too. Wait, you guys. Strawa, do as you're told. You're coming with us whether you want to or not. Come on, Strawa. You gotta be good. Gotcha. Well then, skedaddle! Let's go! Whoa! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Uh. Hope you can forgive us. And disobeying a direct order from your king gets you the guillotine. I really don't think they use the guillotine in Disney Castle. Yeah, I don't see Disney Castle being much for corporal punishment like that. That's Not so much, no. There, there's no let them eat cake <laughs> at Disney Castle. You guys are looking lively. Scrum! Didn't we catch you messing around in the underworld? How'd a wimp like you get into Organization 13? <laughs> I bet you can't even fight. Yeah, but we can. You shouldn't judge anyone by appearance. Oh, I told them they were sending the wrong guy. Who is this kook? Remember, the organization's made up of nobodies. Right. No hearts. Oh, we do too have hearts. Don't be mad. You can't trick us! Silence, traitor. I don't need no instructions to know how to rock. Alright, so this is Dimmix. Dimmix? Dimmix. Dimmix? 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 Dim
Uh, we fought him once before in, you know, the Underworld. He has Dance Water Dance, which the first one here is actually pretty easy. He has 50 of them, and you have 40 seconds to kill them. Now, if you use Wild Dance, it can take out multiples because it'll just one-shot any of the ones... And it can actually hurt him as well. In yeah. The uh, which... But it takes about three seconds for the animation for Wild Dance. Now, that's something to actually remember, because as the fight progresses, he can do it again, summoning ten water clones, and you have ten seconds to beat him. So if you kill one, or if you grab a hold of one, and you have three seconds or less, you will lose the fight, because the timer won't run out before the animation completes. Yep. And if you do not kill all ten for the ten seconds, it's an instant game over. It's just like you get defeated in the fight. So that makes this the most dickish fight in the game, because he can do that over and over and over again, and if you just get unlucky and have one water entity run off to the side, you may not have the time to kill them. Now, they can be killed with magic, melee attacks, whatever, but, you know, it's kind of a pain. He can also summon two just to dance around, those are the ones that will do damage to him. Yep. Uh, the first 50, you won't do damage to him. Because and then the 10, you won't either. And I should think you might be able to do damage with the 10. Can you? I, um, I don't know. I don't remember. I think you can. Uh, but as you can see, he will do the water dash, and then the water pillars around him. Once he gets down past half health, he will start summoning water pillars in rows to, like that, to block directions, and then he will just continue to air juggle you by knocking you into them as they go. And then he does dance water dance, and I was able to survive this one, thankfully. The previous attempts at this, this is literally how we died every time. Yeah, every single time. We now, lost because of that stupid attack. Yeah, and it's funny because Demix is shown to be the weakest member of Organization 13. The, he's the coward, he's, but he is one of the only ones that has a fight this difficult, where yep. you have a 10 second instant lose option should you fail it. So, he's, uh, he's a bit much. Uh, really, his water-based attacks would have been more than enough because, as you can see, he's able to juggle me without any effort whatsoever. Now, one of the reasons why I put Fantasia onto Donald is one of the strategies is... Get him uh, down as far as you can and then do Comet. Yeah. Fantasia. Uh, to take out as much of his life as possible. Some people say you can use it on the Dance Water Comets. I've tried that, and it doesn't seem to be fast enough to where it would do... It would take them out, so... Uh, you can try that one at your own risk. I, I tried it, and it was unsuccessful. But... This... Uh, this... The problem with this fight is it's as much about luck as it is actual skill and timing. And... We got lucky this time because he only did the thing twice. At the beginning and then once during the fight. Yeah. So you have to make sure he doesn't get do the dance water. If he happens to spam that attack, then you might have a pretty rough time of it. And then I use Comet Rain here, and it counts as a finisher. So he takes the damage and is defeated instead of me having to do a melee combo finish to register the kill. Which would have just eaten more time. But he went down, thankfully. This time. After many, many cuss words. Yeah, and lots of throne controllers. <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> Anyone from the organization who'd like to be next? Hey, Sora. Go like Dragon Island. Yeah, we gotta go help our friends out first. Oh, sorry. Then let's go! Aha! There you are! You're in trouble. You sure have lots of friends to help. 
So, I guess we better all pull together and finish this battle for good. Yes, yes Your Majesty! Majesty. Come on, wake up! I'm sorry about the ice cream. Goofy? Uh, I'm goofy. This is not happening. It can't be happening. It can't. They'll pay for this. You have officially pissed off Mickey Mouse. You're dead. That's <laughs> um, and that's where we're gonna end it. Um, on a horribly depressing note. Yeah. Because that's uh. That's... We'll see you guys later. Yeah.